All right, I like to post videos on YouTube whenever I'm having a problem and I figure out the solution. This is a Bredo, a heavy duty rototiller that I rented from the local rental place here. And you're supposed to start it, put it in drive to move forward is the normal way. And you turn these uh, tines on to spin forward in the same way, direction you're gr going, which is all fine and dandy if you have a normal, normal lawn with uh, softer ground. Ours was as hard as a rock after you got down so far. So I learned a trick. You can put the tines to spin in, in reverse against the w direction that you're going. So the tires actually pull against the tines, the tines and tires pull against each other if your ground's really hard. That was something I found. So I raked up a bunch of wood mulch that the people put in here before, that owned the house before I did. And I thought I'd raked all the wood mulch out. I bagged it all up over there like crazy. But then I rolled it tilt down quite a bit. And I got to a lot of dirt, but there's still so much mulch here, and I've never planted grass seed before. So I figured I'd document it for anybody else who has this problem. So instead of doing the whole thing, we just decided to do a little sample area here. Just a small square where we put grass seed down. So we're just going to see if that sprouts, and then we'll know for sure. And uh, I'll have some... I'm going to try to... Uh, get some topsoil, some really cheap topsoil. And I'm just gonna do an even smaller section here with the topsoil. I'm gonna completely rake all the mulch out until the ground's bare and put the topsoil down. Then put some grass seed over that and see if it grows. So I'll let you know how it goes. All right, this is the first time I've ever planted grass seed in my yard. Cause we just bought a house, it's a fixer upper. The lawn was pretty ugly but uh anyways i did a lot of research online and mostly with the amazon.com reviews i did find that uh you actually need to research your area where you live you can actually google what type of grass grows best and you can just do your whole state or your town i actually did cheyenne wyoming which is where i live and just by coincidence, even though I'd already chose this uh, Scott's Turf Builder High Traffic Grass Seed Mix, it does have mostly Kentucky Bluegrass, which is one of the grasses that grows the best in our area, which is pretty dry and windy and stuff, yada yada. Maybe that's why the High Traffic Mix works better here, because the wind probably pounds on it just like dogs and stuff do. The reviews on Amazon.com I can show you at the end of this video. Anyways, a lot of people had really high reviews for this. I did purchase, uh, I don't have the bag anymore. I was going to go with the uh, regular seed starter, but uh, instead I bought this uh, Scott's Turf Builder seed starter. It's supposed to prevent weeds. It says prevents uh, crab grass and dandelions too for up to six weeks. Anyways, it's supposed to jumpstart your grass seed and um, when I was looking at the reviews for the Scott's High Traffic Mints mix, there was hardly any reviews where the people planted the grass seed and none of it grew. And some of the people said they just threw the grass seed down on the ground and it grew and they were just really, really surprised. Uh, one of the reviews I really liked, the guy did a bunch of tests on his lawn before he planted grass seed over his whole lawn. <laughs> and he said this was the only grass seed he could really get to grow. But, uh, anyways, I was just kind of hesitant and I had another problem in my lawn. I'll go show you real quick. I raked up tons and touch tons of this uh, wooden mulch, and uh, I even rototilled my whole lawn. And uh, sorry if the sun. I rototilled pretty deep, and there were still tons of this wooden mulch. But I did get the dirt really loose first, and then all I did was a. Uh, I use my Scott's seed spreader, which it has the settings on there. And uh, I just spread uh, the seed with the spreader, and then I even went back and spread some by hand. I seeded it a little bit thick, and then I did spread the uh, 
Scott's seed starter with the uh, weed preventer on there. And I don't know if you can tell from the sun, but uh, after a couple weeks it started to bloom pretty good. And now it's blooming in. Let me get a close up. I just did a test patch here on my lawn before I did the whole lawn. You can see the, the grass is starting to grow up. It looks fairly patchy, but even the bare spots are really starting to, to fill in. Let me zoom in here. Uh, I'll show you real quick. Here's one of the bare spots right here. You can tell from the video it looks bare. But if you get down close here, even in this bare spot, there's little sprouts starting to come up. So, even in the bare spots here, it is starting to fill in really, really thick. So, I am very happy with the results. Definitely recommend the Scott's High Traffic Grass Seed with the uh, I use the weed preventer seed starter just because of some of the reviews online. I'll show you those next. Okay, so bear with me here for a few more minutes. Whenever I buy anything online or I'm not sure of, I like to use Amazon.com, even if I'm not buying it from Amazon, mainly because of the reviews. This Scott's High Traffic Seed Mix I already talked about, talked about so I'm going to go straight to the reviews. It only has 761. Ratings, which isn't very much for Amazon, but I did a ton of research before I planted the grass seed. I wanted to make sure it was successful. But uh, again, I don't know if I said it yet, but you should definitely just do a small test strip in your yard first before you go all out and plant the whole entire yard, especially if you have a big one. It just helps. But anyways, straight to the reviews. I like to go straight to the reviews when I'm researching something. And it's usually on top reviews. I don't like to do that. I like to go straight to most recent. And something I found when I was researching this seed was uh, right here. Every now and then one would pop up where the grass seed didn't grow at all. I'm pretty sure the people didn't water it right or something. But anyways, most of the... Every now and then on this one it would say not sure about weeds or somebody be complaining about weeds. Let me click on all reviews real quick. All reviews sort by top reviews it just always wants to go to top reviews I like to go to most recent and you can see some popping up right away but that are bad but most of them are good here's the one about weeds so for nothing happy next page didn't grow any of them that didn't grow best uh, delivery issues doesn't count most of them are five stars. Great if you love weeds. That's the reason I got the weed preventer straight to the point. Every now and then somebody would start griping about weeds, which is kind of weird. But then you can do that research and then you can go to the actual top reviews. And this main review right here was one of the other main reasons I bought it. If you look at this review, it says researched the hell out of seed, tried three different seeds over the course of seven months. Months with very little production, tried some organic seed that worked a little, but this seed drastically outdid its competition. This guy's in Southern California in the heat. I am not sure exactly when he planted it, it might say in here sometime, but anyways, um, he did a bunch of test strips, that's why I did a little test strip, mine was successful. Enough said, uh, I mean, if you show live proof, it doesn't get any better than that. Here's the Scott Seed Starter I chose with the uh, Weed Prevention. It's got fertilizer, jumpstart seeds, prevents wheat, crabgrass, dandelions for up to six weeks, yada yada. Anyways, it worked for me. I don't even need to talk about the reviews on this one because it has 8,024 and it's still at four and a half stars, which is almost impossible. So, you know, it's a damn good product. Enough said.